Hi, welcome to the first episode of Marquette Talk. I will be talking about Marquette and how they can be a better team. Starting off with Tyler Kolick. Tyler Kolick is very good at driving, but he's a little bit better at passing. So I think he should pass it to Cam Jones and then he cuts in and then we can do an alley-oop to Oso Iguodaro. Oso Iguodaro is the biggest player who we have, and I think that he has a lot of potential in the NBA. But at Marquette, he's probably the second best player on the team, and he's very good at standing dunks, so if we can just give him the ball in open space, he can just jump up and dunk. It'll be a lot easier than an alley-oop. But alley-oops are Tyler Kolick and also Spin. That's what I like the most about this Marquette team. They put up very good shots, and they can create open spaces. Second is Cam Jones. He's the best shooter on the Marquette team, and we can just set a screen for him. He can shoot from two feet behind the line and make it. So I think he is probably the one to give it to if we're down three. And it's a tight game. But again, he's the best shooter on our team. I think he'll be very good in the NBA. Third is Stevie Mitchell. He is our best defensive player. And if we didn't have him, we would not be nearly as good. And when he was out for two games, we lost one of the two games. And it was against a conference rival. And it's not fun to lose against a conference rival. And that's why Stevie Mitchell is a good key to our team. Because we lose when we don't have him. Fourth is David Joplin. He's our power forward. He's on the starting lineup. And he has the longest arms on our team, so I feel like he could block a lot of shots. He could be a little bit better at dunking. His shooting is his best category. His three-point shooting is okay, but David Joplin is a very good player on our team. Last but not least, Oso Agadaro, the big man on our team, the tallest on our team the best dunker on our team. He is only a paint shooter, but when he's open at like the three-point line, he won't take the shot. And that's what I like about him because he wouldn't make them. He's a really good catch and dunk, so an alley-oop. He's very good at connecting and communicating with alley-oops. His defense is amazing. That will do it for this week. I hope you had fun listening to what I think about this Marquette team. And next week, I will post another episode of Marquette Talk. Make sure to like and subscribe.